Hello, everybody. My name is Kat Courtney. I'm the CEO of Plant Medicine People, and I have one of our PMP coaches here, the amazing Lindsay Caliandra Rose. Hi, Linz. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Thanks for joining me for this talk. We're going to be talking about master plant diets, but specifically um, mullein, which is a plant that's well known in herbalism, but isn't well known in the master plant diet space until now. We're making him famous in this way. It's an amazing plant for multiple reasons. But before we dive into the star, Mullen, um, I would love to hear, Lindsay, a little bit about your background. How did you get involved in doing plant work? Um, well, I've always been interested in plants, starting, like you said, kind of with the herbalism and gardening and things of that nature. But once I got into this sort of space with working with the medicine and everything else, it just called to me um, the actual process of merging with the spirit of the plant and kind of deepening that relationship and the ways that you can heal with them. And beyond just kind of drinking a simple tea and just doing that, that you're actually kind of making this friend an ally that you get to work with and um, really opens it up and changes the whole the whole game. So and now I'm in love with it. So I just can't stop. <laughs> Same. Yeah. Yeah. And to give context to people. So what we're talking about today, the process of a master plant diet, we'll describe more of the nuances in a moment. But. Um, it is really magical because all of us have some sort of context for sipping tea at the end of the day and connecting with rose or dandelion or whatnot, even taking supplements from the, an herbalism perspective. But the diet process is a relationship where we get to actually even hear um, messages, feel the vibration. It's, it's a process where we treat the plant as a sentient being. So it's a relationship the way that we have a relationship with fellow humans in our lives. And Lindsay and I both have the bug. A lot of people that we work with get like lit up of like, why didn't I learn this in school? The fact that nature is sentient and alive and wants to connect with us. So um, it is really just the most incredible process. So how do you describe, just basically pretend I've never done a master plant diet. Like how would you give like the elevator, like three three, four sentence pitch, like, what is it? Um, so it really, it's just a complete emergence with them that, you know, you're there. I say you can basically feel them in your body, but it's like their spirit is with you. It's almost like you have this kind of like guide that's with you the whole time. But instead of it kind of floating out here, it's actually really deep within you and you can hear it. You can feel it in your body. It's just a really amazing way of completely developing a relationship with something. I mean, even people, you don't really have a relationship in that way. Even someone you're really, really close to, it's not like your bodies and your energies merge quite the same way as when your spirits are completely joined. So it's- And how does that happen? Like, like how do you describe the, the way the emergence happens? Um, well, we usually sing the plant in the song, the energy of the song, that vibration helps to pull their vibration in to connect with ours. Um, and also the physical diet, not eating things like salt and sugar and alcohol or, you know, heavy meats and et cetera, et cetera, really helps to kind of open your physical container to be able to hold that energy. Um, cause it can be a lot, especially the first few days when that's kind of sinking in, um, yeah, and then just connecting with the, usually with the tea, but sometimes it's essential oil or some other means of working with them that really, anything that just helps you to really be in the vibration of that plant and feel what they're working with. And obviously the intentions, just like anything else, the intention that you set with the plant is a big part of it too. So. Always with uh, spirit work and work with the plants, it's, it's uh, intention is the foundation where everything comes from. So what do you say to people who uh, say, well, can I do a diet or a dieta myself? Does it need to be guided? I mean, the best way is definitely to be guided. Um, I think especially because, well, first of all, you need protection. Like any work that you're doing with spirit, you want to make sure that you are doing it safely because, you know, things can always happen. Um, or just interjections in the energy, other things kind of wanting to poke in and be involved. Um, so whoever's holding the container is really going to hold that safe space for you. Um, but the other thing I usually tell people is it's so nice, even now, even though I've been doing them so long, I mean, you know, sometimes I'm like, cat, this is happening. I'm kind of confused as to what's going on. So having, especially early when you don't really fully have that like experience 
communicating with the plants and the different ways they communicate because they don't always just talk to us the way a human does. Sometimes they do, but often they don't. And they have a lot of other ways of bringing things through that having somebody that does have that experience of understanding the ways that things might be being communicated is really helpful when you're like, I don't know if anything is happening. I can't hear her. And you're like, but how are you feeling? What does your body feel like? What what has your day to day experience been like? And then they're like, oh, <laughs> okay, they're talking loud and clear. They're just not talking. So, yeah, and sometimes in ways that we don't even recognize is an aspect of the plant dieta until we have somebody help connect the dots, like you're describing. Yeah, and so as guides that hold these diets, I agree with you. I think it's important to have somebody holding that container so that it's kind of like um, I'm a writer, but I suck at editing my own work. I need support in in navigating the container, and so that's what we do as as guides. We make the connection, we keep it safe and tight, and we pass on messages if they're not getting clear and we help to make sense of you know plants talk in different ways than we do as you're saying so it's really helpful to have somebody connect the dots so that you can get the most out of the experience and you know I had a session the other day with somebody who was like yeah nothing's happening on my diet but yesterday I had a big fight with my partner and they're dieting rose which is all about relationship and the day before that I had a fight with my best friend I'm like um things are happening and that is all rose's teaching and without somebody there to help connect that the those dots it, it, it can you we can miss the major communications because um it's not always obvious in the context of our lives so yeah what are some of the plants that you have dieted your dearest allies yeah well i mean as you say rose i have to say her first because she's my my main love that i've dieted i think five times now I'm probably here and there forever um, even though she's always here, it's just really great to, and I think that's something special about it too, is that even going back in with one, you know, there's always more, even with them, just like a friend you have for years and years, your relationship's going to change and other things are going to come in and so forth. But, um, so Rose, of course, is my, my number one. Um, but cacao is definitely very dear to me. Juniper is just the magical wizard of everything. I love him. Um, we just did the oak diet. He's really, really special to me too. I think just in, there's so many things that he kind of does. And maybe he's, I, one of the things I saw about him was he's not the biggest tree, but he's big and he's not the heaviest tree, but he's heavy. So there's, he's maybe not the number one best at something in particular, but he's got so many things that he does really, really well and just so protective and grounding, but expansive at the same time. Um, and um oh my there's so many it's hard to narrow them down um so yeah i i mean lavender was really lovely i did mapacho last summer which was really incredible especially being at kankara uh with moises to do that one it was really special to be there in that space for that um just so grounding and um just really made me slow down and when we were talking about intention i mean mapacho is all just about intention so I, that was the part of the slowing was at one point taking every step completely with intention and not allowed to take another step until I knew the intention and really had it so um yeah that was a really special one too um I mean I feel like I could go on and on for days <laughs> it's that? hard to to choose but you name some powerhouse ones some really really special allies and as you mentioned in the beginning when we do this process with with a plant we make a friend for life and it's really really precious like my joke as you know when we close a diet is it's not ending we're not breaking up we're becoming friends with benefits so that we can open up and work with other energies again but we have this incredible ally for the rest of our lives to stay in relationship with and as you mentioned we can diet them again Again, we don't have to. Sometimes that's a calling. Sometimes it isn't. Regardless, it's really, really beautiful. So tell us about Mullen. So before you do, the next master plant diet you're holding with plant medicine people is with Mullen. So we do group diets every month. Lindsay holds them about four times a year, always with different plants. Um, what what made you feel like it's time for Mullen? Tell us about him. Um, well, first, he, I think, is just a plant that really loves people. Um, and I think that's important too, is that not all plants want to work with us, but if you have driven down a roadside, pretty much anywhere in the United States, you have probably driven past him at some point in the summer because he's just very, very close to us. He's always where people kind of live. Um, but I think 
some of the amazing things about him are that he's so incredible at holding us with grief, um, which everybody, of course, needs to process. Um, but he in particular, I think especially because when he works with the lungs, which is often a sign of a plant that works with Greek, it's not only that he's an expectorant, but he also soothes the lungs. So there's this really soothing element of not only getting it out, but then feeling better about it. And he's so good at just holding. I like to say I like being wrapped in like his big velvety leaves and just feeling that around you. He has such a special way of just really tenderly holding you and with such a powerful presence, but so soft at the same time, which I think is really special about him. Um, yeah, and he just, um, I think just also with everything that's happening with a lot of people with the body too, with a lot of the kind of grief and trauma and everything that's happening. I mean, he's not only good for the lungs, but helps to ease muscle pain and tension and really lubricates um, like the spines and or, or your spine and all of your like uh, joints and things too, um, which again, just working with the spine to really opening that energy channel up your center is really a big part of his medicine too, that I didn't expect. Um, so I know a friend of mine did the diet together. We were holding a diet for each other when I, when I dieted him and we're like, yeah, we'll do this little, like maybe 10 day diet, like this little diet. And within a couple of days, we were both just like, whoa, this is not like going to be a little diet, um, very sweet. And he has that softness, but he's really, really amazing. Um, and was a lot more than I expected him to, to really bring in. So beautiful and you also described to me this quality of mullen around voice activating the voice can you speak to that a little bit a little pun i did there haha -ha. <laughs> <laughs> yeah i think one of the th messages that seemed to come through a lot were often around like your shine and shining your light and it's really i think also connected to that with the voice of like really speaking your truth and having your sort of life force again kind of coming through that spine energy even of the way that the energy can move and flow that it allows like your light to kind of come out and your voice to be freed and I think also part of letting that grief go really allows you that space to be able to fully step into that kind of energy of really owning who you are and saying what you need and I know he was very big about not kind of working with the outside judgment and kind of like having a little like, no, nah, I don't need to worry about that. Like we've got this in here and this is really what matters and cultivating your own sort of um, non-judgment of yourself and letting that to kind of be your force coming through. Oh my goodness. He sounds like the kind of ally that, you know, the vast majority of us could use in terms of like, I'm really struck too by the fact that it's a masculine energy, but at the same time you speak to the just soothing, comforting, nurturing, sort of safe energy. And a lot of us are learning to feel safe in the presence of something that is masculine. And so that alone is medicine right there. But um, yeah, yeah, I can see why you chose him as a plant to focus on just because it's a, a borderline universal thing of what we need right now in support and processing our grief, having permission to use our voice, feeling safe in the masculine. So can you tell us just a little bit about what is the process like? If somebody joins a group diet like this with Mullen, what can they expect? Um, so we generally have five calls. Um, usually everybody will open kind of around maybe three days before or after their first call, sort of all kind of in that first week together. Um, but they're done individually. So while we diet as a group, you kind of open on your own time. We set up individual time so that we can do that together whenever it works in someone's schedule. Um, and then the first call, we just kind of go over the protocol and kind of get to know everybody and it gets to know Mullen a little bit. Um, and then the other calls, all the three calls in the middle are just for sharing and having that safe space to be safe space to be able to talk about what's happening and what's kind of coming through any questions that people have um, so that you have that support during the diet as things because like we mentioned sometimes things are happening or you kind of feel like they are but you're not sure what it is um, it's nice to have that group and themes kind of come through most of the time too where somebody will share something and you're like oh oh my god that's happening to me too and you may or may not have realized that that was kind of a part of the plant's medicine um, so it's really nice to be able to kind of um, see what other people are feeling from the plant. Um, and then the last call would be, we use as an integration call because just the same, we kind of close 
any time up until that last call um, so that everybody is then able to have a little integration time together and feel what it's like on the other side. So. You and I hold both group diets and one-on-one -on -one diets, and I have a special fondness for the group diets because of how the group supports each other. And we set up Discord service, servers so people can stay in touch during the week. So the whole adventure is one month. As Lindsay mentioned, five sessions in there. The diet itself is two to three weeks, like whatever you can commit to in your life. Um, but they're just incredibly transforming, really um, special places to reconnect with nature, to create a friend in a, in a plant spirit. Um, so like, we'd love to have you. The, the diet launches, can you remember the dates? Uh, September, I think it's 26th, 27th. Yeah. <laughs> September 27th for a month. Um, the, I've dropped the URL for the experience down in, uh, the description of this video below. If you have questions, you can comment down there, but you are most welcome. It is a limited number of people that can attend. So, um, uh, we can maintain a nice intimate container. But Lindsay, thank you so much for sharing your experience and your love for Mullen and for doing this work. Um, I will, uh, I'll see you in the next diet, but, and thank you everybody for listening and for caring about the plants until next time.